Hi, this is Dr. Don, and this is going to be a quick video, I hope, trying to answer a student question on how to do forecasting using regression and then calculate the error metrics, MAD, MAPE, etc. Now, I have a separate video that you should use following this one that shows you step by step how to find the error metrics. So, this one, let's just look at the first part doing the regression and doing the forecasting and I'll show you two ways. Here's their data. Uh, this is the one terabyte SSD production time. We've got the months over here and we've got production time and we're going to do our forecast of production time and remember that these months over here are really numbers and so you can uh, use those as your X predictor variable or in this case I added this column production period and just numbered them 11 through 60. Uh, I think there are 50, 50 uh, data points there and you can use either one to do the regression. So I'm going to use production period and let's go to phstat regression simple linear regression. Our y variable range is our response variable and that's production time. I'm going to go down and make sure I've got all of those from 53 to 3. Then I want my predictor variable, my x variable. I'm going to use the period and make sure they match C3 to 53 and B3 to 53 for sale as the label, 95% confidence. I want my ANOVA, that's where I get my regression equation. And I'm going to get residuals and that'll show you the uh, shortcut here. And I'm not going to worry about these for right now. Let's just click OK. And this is the ANOVA. It's on the Compute tab down here. And we're given the intercept and the slope, beta 1, for the production period. And I'm just going to copy those and go back here to my first sheet. And I'm going to paste. And I want to just paste the values. So now I've got my intercept and my slope. And to get the forecast, I'm going to label that. It's just equal intercept plus slope times period. Now before we get away from this, because I want to drag this down, not have to re redo that every time, I'm going to stick my cursor in that first one, or I can do it up here, and I'm going to click F4, function key F4, and that locks that down. And then I want to lock down the slope as well, so I put my cursor there, F4, and I've got the double dollar signs, which means that's locked down. And I hit enter, and that gives me my forecast. And I'm going to go ahead and label that error. And in this first cell, I'm just going to put equal my actual minus my forecast. And that gives me my error. Now I can just select those cells, get the little plus sign, and drag this all the way down to the bottom. And that gives me my error. And from here, we'll go into the other video. So we've got our actual forecast and the error. Before I go, let me show you the shortcut. Remember, I had you get the residuals. And believe it or not, if you do that residual, you already have your forecast. There is the period. There's the predicted Y, which is the forecast. And this is the actual, I've got the columns different than I had, but then they just subtract these two to get the residual, 7.208. And if we go back here, if I expand that, you see we have the same number. So if you want to save a little bit of time, you can just use this and then calculate your error metrics using the predicted and the residuals from right here. Hope this helps.